Okay, and it is time for all the wonderful things in the world of Python on hardware. Ah, this is my favorite time of the week. <laughs> That's right. Um, so first up, uh, Blinka is uh, here to tell you about some holiday stuff. Okay, take it away. So that's your circuit yeah. python snake for the holidays. Um, Caitlin's dad made this great stocking. This has uh, Blinka on your stocking, Lady Ada. Uh, mine's uh, a dark stocking. And then there's Adabot. And I like how you're PT at Adafruit. That's, that's right. That's just you. That's, 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 that's what I am. That's what you are. Uh, in Python news, this is exciting. This is Python on hardware. This is yet another. This is a second calculator that has uh, Python features on it. This is the Casio FX CG Prism calculator. Uh -huh. um, we took it apart because we're like, well, I wonder what processor's in there because like, we might want to do a fork of Circuit Python to get things running on there. Um, one of the features I really like is it shows up as a drive when you put it in drive mode. But uh, we have a, a live demo right here. Yeah. This is this is uh, MicroPython on a Casio calculator. Now they they reduced all the features. You can't it's do pretty minimal. the things that you can do mm -hmm. in MicroPython or Circuit Python. But the cool thing is this is yet another example of the most popular programming language for the most part in, in schools and more is Python. And on the outside of the packaging of this, it said Python. And one of the features is Python. And what kids see when they're doing these standardized testing is, oh, cool, it has Python. So that's, um, that's exciting for us because the NumWorks calculator, what we stocked, was the first one. And yeah. uh, this is the second one. And um, I found some cool hacks, and there was a pretty big community of uh, calculator hackers. Yeah, these are like these when I saw Japanese chips, so they're not, you know, as popular. They're, in Japan, of course, they're quite popular. So it's not surprising that Casio, a Japanese company, would use a Japanese yeah. chip. But it is a little, you know, it's, it's a little different than the chips that we're used to. It's not like an Atmel or, or uh, okay. STM32. And uh, we're going to show this in the It's Not Out section, but we made a Bitcoin uh, price tracker. Um, it's consistently going down, uh, <laughs> but we, we made one, and this is a, a really neat thing, and Lydia will talk about this later, but it's a fun way to use CircuitPython and an ESP8266. As a coprocessor. As a coprocessor. So if you want to add Wi-Fi capabilities, yeah. it, you know, instead of running CircuitPython on the ESP, which I don't think is a really good experience because it doesn't have native USB, the ESP8266 is kind of minimal, the ESP32, we don't have a CircuitPython port. Instead, we're using these chips as coprocessors so you have like an M4, you wire up a couple of wires to the ESP266, then you use that to get and receive wireless data. So you use like Wi-Fi. Um, and then you can use the M4 with all of the cool peripherals, analog digital, the DAC, I2S, all that good stuff. You get all those goodies. Okay. And then this is using LoRaWAN and the Things Network with CircuitPython. This is how to build a small weather logging node using the Feather and a temperature sensor, and then the data will be sent over LoRaWAN. It's to the LoRa. Yeah. It's true, and it works. We got some particles in. So what's the first thing we did? Well, um, on the Argon, you can run Circuit Python. It's super alpha, 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 but you can do it. Yep. So we got you one. We it. tried it out. Um, you can do it. You know, you have to update the bootloader. It's not trivial, but if you have a JLink or a programmer, and you can uh, put the bootloader on and then upload Circuit Python. This is a gingerbread merry-go-round Circuit Playground Express with Cricut using Circuit Python by Joe High Voltage. You can watch the full video. Yeah, this is cool and delicious. Well, Melissa Makes is working on a Neo Trellis image drawing um, program application using Circuit Python, and this is by Maker Melissa's Lab. You can subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have some new guides and more. Uh, this is a pretty cool one from JP. This is. This the is the. Uh, uh, Launch deck. Launch, launch deck, right? Yeah. It's like launch pad, launch yeah. deck. So you press the button and it will run a program, run your email or, or change the volume or pause or start iTunes, something like that. You can do that with a multicolored control yeah. board. And that's, of course, powered by CircuitPython. Um, this one, this is the interactive map with Circuit Playground Express. We're going to show some of uh, this video later. Um, also, it looks like a giant spider is about to come into the uh, metro area. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on with libgpod and CircuitPython and Linux. So what did we do? Of course, we made a series of desktop patterns while we're booting up some of these Linux devices. So there'll be a lot more on that later. We're also talking to some Linux board providers 
and companies that do this, and uh, we're trying to get more and more support for Circuit Python. Yeah, if uh, you're if you're a maintainer of a distro or uh, you know you do support for a Linux embedded Linux board, um, add Circuit Python support. Uh, Circuit Python library support will unlock the 120 some. Uh, Circuit Python libraries we have, so you don't have to do that work. All you have to do is, is help us um, get your board definition into Blinka, and uh, you can use all of our Circuit Python libraries, which yeah. will be great for users to do hardware and IoT. And then uh, we got this. This was a nice gift from the creator of this. This is the Mini Sam, and this is it's so cute. Yeah, this is uh, a so cute, a cute yeah. little Circuit Python running board. This is Sam D fifty one. It's even got the use on flash. It's got two buttons for feet. This uh, is by Passive touch GW hands. Shockley, and yeah. it's the Mini Sam development board. So cute. Okay, this is from Gogard, and I think Gogard's actually in the Discord chat. Lots of progress yeah. here. This is the Linux feather shaped thing, and it's running Doom and Circuit Python. So yeah, there's a good lot. Good work. We're doing OLED stuff and TFT yeah. stuff. Um, this is another variant. It's another board. Uh, this is by Timothy. It's and like a badge. Yeah, and it's another yet another board. I think it's a Sam D21. E19 looks like maybe, yeah. and then it's got a coin cell battery and uses our, uh, the IS31FL whatever to drive a matrix of LEDs so you can like yeah. scroll text. We also showed um, one of the coming soon this week in the world of Python on hardware. This is Gizmo, and this is an add on for Circuit Playground Express. We'll talk more about that later. Um, I don't think we're going to get a build of uh, Circuit Python on this because it is way, way out there. Um, Sony has a new interesting device. I collect Sony stuff. Um, we could put this under the overhead for a yeah, second. Yeah, this is it's a know. really interesting board. It, it's, it's probably going to go into my bin of boards. That, I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's a Sony. And <laughs> it's totally Sony. It's it's not a feather. It looks a little bit feather like. It's just yeah. happens to be about the same, same shape and size as a feather, but it has a different yeah. pinout, and it has this like main board and this carrier, that makes it like compatible with yeah it's like the spree board it's called Spreesense, anyways yeah, um i'm gonna poke around on it see what we can get going on it but yeah that's there um we're still looking for help if you want to help translate the messages in circuit python we have lots of languages um there's some events coming up there's a circuit python workshop chicago in december hex space pumping station one is doing their not exclusively raspberry pi nerp <laughs> it's a workshop on december 17th at 7 p.m with Katni is part of the Adafruit team. So uh, Katni will be there. There's also at uh, Chai Pi. Chai, Chai Pi? Chicago. Yeah. Project Night. Circuit Python Project Night on the 20th of December from 6.30 to 8.30. And it's at the Chicago Area Python Users Group. And of course, next year is PyCon. We're going to get Ooh. ready for that soon. Um, we did a lot of updates to the awesome Circuit Python list. Um, it's probably the best resource for all these things. We celebrated our second year of doing Python on microcontrollers. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, we surpassed 4,000 subscribers, which was a goal that we had, because that's what we thought um, was probably folks that were interested and we're gonna keep going. And this is all part of the Code Plus community that we're all doing together with Circuit Python. So that's the Python on hardware news of the week. Whew, okay, amazing. Lydia.